what I've learned necessarily is going to go into, say, a big organization like Stanby can change it. Yeah. If it might, it might guide me along the way in terms of how to navigate, uh, in terms of how to influence uh, the leaders of that organization, but not necessarily kick the front door and change everything. In fact, I think that's disastrous uh, because you might just end up going backwards. So I think for me is yeah. allow yourself to learn from the environment yeah. and then adapt and, and change from within. Okay. Yeah. A lot of time we see people, Daniel, who go into organization and just start changing and you find people flying from this organization to another and says, man, the new boss was come. Correct. Uh, uh, we, 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 I can't stay there. Absolutely. And this happened. Absolutely. Is it they themselves who are a problem, those who are running away, or actually the bosses come and want to change everything. Have you ever been in an organization and people have viewed you like that? And if yes, how were you able to deal with it? If not, had you learned these tricks before, before going inside there so that when you arrived, you are more warmer to people than more, you know, cold to other people? Yeah, I think in most cases where, and we've seen this, in, even in Uganda, where a CEO comes and tries to change everything overnight and and the organization suffers you, you lose your talent mm -hmm. the good people leave the company they go to other organizations you know your numbers start going down uh, it's it's a no-brainer uh, the good ones are the ones who quickly realize oh this is different mm -hmm. I need to adapt I mean I, I always hear people who <laughs> people who have worked in Tanzania Tanzanians are different the way they do things at their pace and how they shift and move things relate that among each other is very different. <laughs> yes. So if you come with your speed and uh, you know and, 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 and forcefulness, you'll get a culture shock. They'll they'll edge you out slowly in their nice way before you know it you've left the company. You, you know. I remember earlier back in our breweries we had similar people who used to come from South Africa at the time. Um, because Africa is obviously very fast paced. It's about push, push, push. And a lot of them suffered. In fact, a, a, a time came when they said, you know what, this thing is not working. Let's empower now Ugandans. That's how we guys came through. Yeah. Welcome back from that break. My name is Edio Okila and this is the CEO Bench. In the studio is Annington Bujingo. Now, you are in for some really great ride. Do you desire to be a great person in life? Are you 